So the last thing that we're going to do with interfaces is going to be making a grid. So I'm going to call it GUI grid. So go ahead and get it set up like that. All right, so don't forget to import those things and set up your comment block. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to cheat. I'm just going to use my resources and copy those, that first chunk of code. So my JFrame is already created. What's up? But instead of calling it happy panel of fun times, I'm just going to call this grid. I'm also going to change the size. I'm going to go back to 300 by 200. And I have exit on close, so I'm good to go. So next up, remember we create our J panel. So J panel, you can call it whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to kind of lame and go P1. New J panel, open close p1.set background and then what we're going to do here is instead of using a preset color we're going to create our own color yay so the way that this works is if you ever have like played with the settings on a tv it's called rgb so it's red green blue those are the three colors of light that interact together to make all different colors. So you can play with that on your computer. Okay, so the way that this works is you get to pick a number between 0 and 255. So if you set them all to 0, it will turn out black because 0 contains no color. If you set them all to 255, it will be all the colors together, so it'll be white. So we need to come in here and choose our color, and we're going to say new color, and then open and close parentheses, and in that we're going to put in a red. So how much red? You pick a number between 0 and 255. Our green, which again, number between 0 and 255, and blue. I like blue. Okay, so we're going to make four of these panels. And you don't really know what the colors are going to look like until we're done. So kind of play with the numbers, and then we'll figure out what it looks like. So paste this three other times to make our four panels. And then don't forget to change your variable name. And go in there and change all those color codes, too. They do not have to be the same as mine. They just have to be different from each other. Okay, so we created the window. We made decisions on what goes in the window. And now we're going to fill that window. So in our fill the window, we get container and name it whatever you like. And it's going to be panda, because that's what we kept it named. Dot get content name. Close parentheses. Easy. So now if you look back at what we did in GUI window, we just did border layout. So in our container style things, in our content pane, there's all different types. So we just looked at border layout. For the grid, we're going to be looking at grid layout. So it's going to be set up the same way, but with grids. So book dot set layout. And we're going to say new grid layout. And we're going to call it two by two grid which means that it's going to be two rows by two columns. So like if you wanted to have like a one by three, then it would be, you know, one row, three columns, or a three by one, it'd be three rows, one column, that kind of thing. All right, so now that we have our grid layout set up, we need to add all of our panels to our container. So we do book dot add and p1 and delete whatever else showed up in there you don't really need that p1 semicolon and because i'm working smarter not harder i'm just gonna copy and paste all of that and change it to all the rest of my panels so we've added in the rest of the panels and our most important one that we need down here is panda which is still the name of our window Dot set visible true. Okay, so hit run. And it came back with a grid of different colors that may or may not be pretty looking. If you don't like the colors, you can obviously fix them in here and play with it a little bit. And if you don't like the size, you can play with that too. So 
for our lesson on GUIs, you guys don't have any questions and you're really not going to be tested over it because I don't expect you to memorize all of these things. But you are going to have some projects that you have to do based on it. So go on Moodle. These are your projects that you're going to do for this. You're going to create a few flags and a three by three grid. So here's a hint, the three by three and the one by three that this box will help you right here. I also highly recommend for these projects, maybe just copy and paste this entire code and then fix it the way you need to fix it for the projects, All right? You don't have to memorize any of this stuff that we did, but you will have to use it for some projects in the future. So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.